NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft holds the title of the most distant human-made object in space. It has successfully crossed into interstellar space, marking a historic milestone in exploration. Imagine launching a spacecraft over 45 years ago and having it still explore regions beyond expectations. This is the reality of NASA's Voyager mission, which has reshaped how we view space exploration. What's even more fascinating is that this decades-old spacecraft continues to send data back to Earth. With technology older than a cassette player, it still functions despite its age. Voyager 1, launched in 1977, recently made a discovery that stunned scientists and captivated the world. But what exactly is this discovery? And what does it mean for us on Earth? As Voyager 1 ventures deeper into space, it uncovers information about uncharted regions. Its discoveries have redefined our understanding of the universe and the technology that makes such missions possible. But the incredible journey of Voyager 1 started decades ago, during an era when two major space missions changed everything. Thanks to Gary Flandro at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, an optimal route was mapped for the probe. This route included Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Using just a pencil and basic tools, Flandro found an alignment of planets that created a gravitational shortcut for space travel. This method, known as gravity assist, allows spacecraft to gain speed by using a planet's gravitational pull. This rare alignment, occurring once every 176 years, reduced a 30-year journey to just 12 years. Recognizing this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, NASA launched Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 just 15 days apart in 1977. Little did NASA know these twin probes would go on to make history. More than 45 years later, they continue sending valuable data from the outer reaches of our solar system. A mission expected to last just four years has turned into an unprecedented journey. In the early years, both spacecraft captured stunning images of Jupiter and Saturn's moons. These images revealed volcanoes and ice fields, reshaping our understanding of these distant worlds. Voyager 2 later became the first spacecraft to reach Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989, providing invaluable scientific data. Despite being as small as a Volkswagen Beetle, both voyages defied expectations. They even used a slingshot maneuver around Venus to gain momentum toward Mercury. Their journey through space included passing through dangerous asteroid belts and covering distances ten times that between Mercury and Earth. The challenges kept mounting. The Voyager spacecraft were equipped with just 69 kilobytes of memory, far less than today's smartphones. Yet, they managed complex navigation and data storage using primitive technology. Data was first stored on tape before being transmitted to Earth using a 23-watt transmitter, equal to a standard light bulb. As Voyager 1 and 2 moved further, the time required for their signals to reach Earth increased drastically. Voyager 2's signals now take over 18 hours to arrive. Additionally, background noise from modern electronics makes reception more difficult. Yet, despite these obstacles, the Voyagers continue to deliver groundbreaking discoveries. They are sending valuable data from interstellar space, revealing secrets about the vast universe beyond our solar system. One of their most intriguing contributions involves the Oort Cloud, a distant region filled with comet-like objects bound by the Sun's gravity. The spacecraft are slowly approaching this mysterious zone, but their interstellar journey truly began when they crossed the heliopause. This boundary separates the Sun's influence from interstellar space. Scientists initially estimated it to be 50 astronomical units away, yet voyages crossing into interstellar space were smoother than expected. They anticipated a sudden increase in cosmic rays, but instead, Voyager found that the heliosphere's magnetic shield remained partially intact. When Voyager 1 crossed this boundary on August 25, 2012, it detected an increase in plasma density but no significant change in magnetic field direction. This unexpected discovery shocked scientists, as they had predicted the magnetic field would shift dramatically beyond the heliopause. Instead, the data suggests that the Sun's magnetic influence extends further than previously believed. Rather than being dominated by external forces, the data sent by Voyager 1 and 2 continues to challenge scientific theories. Their mission, originally expected to last only a few years, has revolutionized our knowledge of the universe and its mysteries. 
As they continue their incredible journey, the voyages demonstrate that exploration often defies expectations. With technology from the 1970s, they keep pushing boundaries, providing insights that reshape our understanding of space. The Voyager missions have done more than expand knowledge. They have inspired generations of scientists, engineers, and space enthusiasts. Their continued success highlights human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of the unknown. Each piece of data they transmit contributes to our understanding of the cosmos. As we look to the future, the legacy of Voyager will influence upcoming space missions. Scientists are now using Voyager's discoveries to explore topics like dark matter, dark energy, and the potential for extraterrestrial life. The technology developed for Voyager also paved the way for modern space missions. Advances in communication, navigation, and data collection stem from the challenges faced during Voyager's journey. As we continue to explore the cosmos, Voyager's lessons will guide future space explorations. The story of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 is a testament to human curiosity and perseverance. These spacecraft have ventured farther than anyone imagined, delivering invaluable insights about our solar system and beyond. As they drift through interstellar space, they remind us of the endless possibilities of exploration and discovery. For more insights, watch Voyager 1 Risk of engineering data to earth here subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching